Hello, you're welcome to The Seven Show with Larry L. Ford. Today, I am going to be gisting you about seven funny manners women should avoid. You see, women take men for granted a lot of times because you feel that he doesn't talk. You do some funny manners, you do some funny things and he's just looking at you like that. Because a man has chosen to be quiet does not mean he's not noticing some of those things. And some men, they even laugh about it. They play about it. But when they get into the midst of their friends, that's when they will begin to say, can you imagine my girlfriend? She does this and does that. Even sometimes the guy may be comfortable with it, but his friends may not just find it funny. They used to say, Ishaililu man beni jade. Which means charity begins at home. Whatever you practice in the house, you don't know when you begin to do it outside. You may just be in the congregation or in the crowd or whatever you do in secret. You just find yourself doing it outside. The man may be comfortable with it. He may not mind you doing all those things. But one day you just find yourself in the midst of the crowd and you will do it. He will not even pretend as if he knows you. I am telling you, you'll be so disappointed that you could not stand with me when everybody was looking at me. They were um, talking back at me. You did not even stand. They won't stand for you. There are seven funny manners that are most essential that you should, you should, you should avoid. And I am starting right now with number one. And number one is picking your nose. If you are a lady, it is very, very bad for you to be picking nose outside. Don't pick even when you're with your partner don't do it try as much as possible to to like um just caution yourself curtail yourself it pushes you it, your, your nose is scratching you you could just try i don't know i don't know you could get an handkerchief or something or get something you could get a cotton board or something to just pick your nose if you have to do it you don't stick your hands into your nose you don't stick your finger into your nose when you do that it's really really bad the man is noticing you he's not going to talk about it but one day he'll be just with his friends and he will just talk about it and they'll be like oh my god your girlfriend does that your wife does that and many of them, maybe their own wife used to do that too, but they will not say their own wife is doing They will now push him till he pushes you out of the house. My number two point that I'm talking to you about today, and it is farting. Don't do it. Men enjoy doing it. Okay, funny enough, I do it too. Sometimes when I'm at home with my friends and when I'm at home, even with a girl or something, I just do it. Sometimes even at the office, sometimes I do it. But you know, when men do these kind of things, it's easy to forgive a man when he has just farted. But people don't forgive ladies who don't fart. We always look at them like women don't fart at all. That's the impression that we have, that men have that women don't fart. So if you're going to do it, just do it stylishly. And if you mistakenly bring it out in a pop sound like that, say you are sorry and let it look as if you've committed a big crime so that the guy will now be the one to tell you that no, no, it's not a big deal. And then he will know that you have done it and don't repeat it. Some ladies are fond of it. They are like, eh, hey, you the drama. I'm not gonna attack at the go now. As the guy is giving his own pa po pee pee, you'll be doing it. It's in the records. You won't know where you will do it outside. Ladies are not expected to do some things. Don't man try that is song bang bang. Don't mess outside. It's not good. So you understand what I'm saying? So, so no no but like but like seriously, a lady shouldn't fart. I remember that when I was in primary school, I and my friends were like, um, okay, ladies don't fart. Eh, the teacher came into class and saw that we were making noise and, and, and she was like, what's the problem? Nobody could talk. Not until one of my bold friends was like, eh, we are arguing that. And me, I said, ladies used to fart. Eh, Afford said, ladies don't fart. That day, she didn't answer us. Maybe, maybe ladies fart or not, but she beat us seriously. So, you know, the thing, the impression that we have is that ladies don't do that. So, don't do it outside. If you are doing it, stop it. It's not a good manner. It's not a good attitude. And number three is, this one is so so common among women dragging your feet ah okay let's assume that when you are pregnant i can forgive you when you are pregnant and that pregnancy you have to be very very heavy and you're like you're dragging your feet that one is understandable but you are not pregnant you're just in the house and you're like dragging your feet and it's making noise it can be so so irritating it can be so irritating don't do it and once you Keep doing it in the house you don't know when you begin to do it outside you're in the office you're dragging your feet you're in the marketplace you're dragging your feet you're in someone's shop you're dra dragging your feet you're in the house you're dragging your feet why why are you doing that don't be lazy don't let men have the impression that oh she's so lazy ladies no matter how hard working you are 
once you drag your feet in the house or anywhere we believe that you are still lazy there's a part of us that tells us that at uh, this one after giving birth to like one or two children three ah she will just drop the whole life as in our life will just drop down no carry yourself with courage and poise you're supposed to be a lady you're supposed to be tooch don't make the mistake i'm not talking about being educated or so no there are some educated people they just don't take it as any big deal is it not my house can't i do anything i don't do it. men don't like it it's so irritating one of these is i'll give um men to the point that i mean ladies don't like about us but i'm giving you this especially for the ladies and men to once you watch this call your wife call your girlfriend call your spouse tell them to come and watch this show tell them to learn from this that dragging their feet is so so bad you've been talking to her about it she refuses to hear tell her that larry for that said dragging our feet is no good and tell them to stop it it gets at us it's so irritating number four is using your finger to remove dirt from your teeth it is very very wrong what is wrong with a toothpick you know i don't know what is in your teeth that you need to remove that you can't get a toothpick it may be chocolate or shawarma or whatever you've just eaten burger or something i mean i mean no 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 even if you go to the ogufe joint you can't chop ogufe the thing around for your teeth you can't decide to say na na finger and your your finger your dirt most of the fingernail is so so dirty some people will not even wash their hands they think dirty fingernail that's what you will use to even to be removing it and I, I think some ladies purposely keep these long fingers they fix nails so that they'll be able to use it to be picking their teeth is that right even using it to to you you put in your ears and be doing all this kind of those things men will forgive men the society will forgive men for doing it but they won't forgive you as a lady for doing it you're a lady you're meant to be such number five is sitting properly what is wrong with you that is why i like africans that is why i like nigerians how can you say you're a lady and you sit down so so anyhow just open your legs anyhow we are not interested close your legs sit down in a proper way behave like a lady men love it when women come you can fold your legs in such a nice way without even exposing anything to the world as in you just need to sit properly i'm so sorry i just have to say this that it is very very important for you as a lady to know how to sit down men respect you a lot when you sit down in such a way that your whole thing is well covered there are so many ladies that are experts in putting on short skirts micro mini skirts they'll sit down and they want to fold their legs yet you wouldn't see anything if you need to get an, an handkerchief to help you cover a little bit it's okay if you have to wear a short skirt you could bring a shawl or something in case you're going to a place where you have to be on the high platform i'll advise you that you probably wear something longer when you're going on stage but if you have to go with something short and you're going on stage you have to be extremely careful the fact is some ladies it's not as if they don't know how to sit down when they want to sit down they are very very careful but they just get carried away they've gone to another land while they are there on the seats they are thinking of so many things thinking about the children thinking about money thinking about the love of their life thinking about the business thinking about so so many things but they end up opening their legs because they're carried away it is it is even another bad thing for you that someone should be talking to you and you're lost and the guy touches you and you're like you have just come from dreamland in the part of africa where i come people look at you as if you've gone to a meeting they will call you a witch when you're carried away like that almost every time when they have to call you like two three times before you get startled and then you look up like that it's not supposed to be so so even if you are going to get carried away make sure that you're carried away with your legs folded do you understand what i'm saying i'm sorry but it's part of my show at number six today on the seven funny things that women should avoid seven funny manners that you should avoid is dressing improperly some ladies believe that when you expose all of your body that's when men will like you nah lie a lot of guys will see you as a call girl some guys may not even see you as a call girl some guys may just see you like um a lady that i can just date for the outing for the parties for the clubs but when we're talking about ladies that i really want to get married when men are thinking about marriage that's when why they like going to the church they will see the ladies that dress very very well it is not that you cannot expose a little part of your cleavage or something it's okay but when it becomes too much you now wear clothes that will expose everything like this what are you selling what are you advertising to us just just wear something decent 
appear decent. I mean, a lot of people are carried away by the things they see in the movies. Some of those girls that you've seen in the movies, they are doing it. They are dressing like prostitutes because they've been asked to dress like that. And they have a message that they are passing across. Some of those girls that do it in the musical videos, they are doing it because they are advertising their body for the video so that people will watch the videos and will love the video so that guys will want to rush after the videos to watch to get themselves excited but those are not the kind of things that you should wear on the streets because you've seen somewhere where bomb shot extremely short bomb shot like that in the video you now feel you can wear it as well on the streets ah i trust niger if you go pass or show you they go come out of your body they go disgrace you there are some women they will pour water on your body pepper water on your body we still have women like that so you, you don't you don't you don't dress like that. It doesn't impress men. It doesn't. Get, it only makes us look at you like you were cheap, like seriously. And and the fact is, all of your body is exposed, and you're now looking for a godly man. Where will you get a godly man now? Finally, on today's episode, seven funny manners that women should avoid that you should be careful about is if you have a bad posture. I am telling you, you're definitely not going to get a good man. You stand, you don't stand well. You have to stand properly when you're standing as a lady. Not standing that you now push your two legs to the back like this. You forgotten yourself. You don't forget say you stand for there. You now push your two legs to the back. When you want to sit, you forget yourself. When you're walking, you need a good posture. When you're seated, you need a good posture. When you're standing, you need a good posture. As a matter of fact, even when you're talking, you need good posture with your mouth. You don't just laugh any ah <laughs> no don't do such things you're a lady we need you to come out touch we need you to form a little bit forget it men will be saying that gets you to the form it is better for you to do to the form than for you to be too loose when you laugh too much with men they'll be looking at you like ah this one she's too you don't understand you just got to be touch a little bit just put a little bit of poise to it go and learn it if you don't know any other place to learn it go and watch um jennifer where those girls were like ouch Oh, oh my God, duh, talk to the thing. It's okay for you to talk like it's better than for you to just be java, java, java. It's not okay. Men want to see the touch part of you. We love women that dress very well. We love women that sit properly. We love women that don't pick their nose when they're in public. We love women that is just touch all the way and all the way. Till we see you again next time. This is the seven show with Larry Afford. Let the comments keep coming in. Let the remarks keep coming in, the suggestions and everything. I love it. And I thank you for being part of this show every week. Thank you, thank you, thank you all the way. Peace out.